Okay, today we are going to model a very special project uh, that's called Alvarada Palace that's designed by uh, Oscar Neymar. Uh, Oscar Neymar is one of my favorite architects and I really follow his work. So I wanted to actually show you how to create uh, these columns uh, on this on this building because it's a little bit like it's uh, it's a little bit tricky because you can see that they, they have a lot of different surfaces going around and um, you can see here for example that uh, the column is uh, has four sides here but then it's spreading out and then it's spreading out outside also and on the inside here as well so I just wanted to, to show you the techniques that we can do to create uh, these columns and this building. So, the one. Okay, so I'll just import this image uh, to the viewport and to have it as a reference for the base plan. And uh, then we will use uh, the other ones as well. But first, let's straighten this guy up. This guy up. This was actually uh, used from Google maps i couldn't find a better a base so i just downloaded it from there and uh, we can also use the front view uh, which is uh, this one this guy here but let's see how it will fit so this one is also not perfect so we're gonna need to straighten it up so let's let's draw a reference line here and let me go and refine it so i'm gonna go here and i will do the rotation and get it as close as possible to the to the real thing and now we can cut it once more just for the sake of being completely straight and uh, yeah let's let's cut it even here so we can have it pretty nice and smooth there I'll do the same one here and uh, let's cut here the base as well so I'm gonna do the cut something like this and now we just need to make these guys uh, the same so I'm gonna scale it from here to here and now I know more or less what's the what's the height so let's go to rotate 3d and let's bring it up there you go and uh, this will be the front there so uh, so basically uh, how we can approach this is by first examining the column itself we can see that it's made out of one module so we will create this one module now and then we can uh, multiply it on the other sides so let's quickly go to the, to the right view here and uh, let's make um, a division so let's say this is one element here and the other one is here something like this and then uh, the top will be let's say here the bottom will be let's say the middle is somewhere around there and let's create the middle one here okay and now let's create these curves uh, they don't need to be perfect for now we can straighten them out later on uh, for example let's use f10 here and let's make okay let's lock this quickly and let's take the control points from this guy let's use set point this is to go to the y direction sorry and let's bring these guys also to x one needs to go to the y axis uh, uh, z axis sorry okay so let's say this is the shape maybe we can refine it a little bit if you don't like and uh, once we're happy with it let's mirror it here 
And let's mirror it on the bottom as well. But here we will change it a little bit because you can see here that it's uh, going in. So let's cut it. Let's cut it like so. Let's bring the control points and let's do the rebuild. Let's create, yeah, maybe three points is enough here also. Uh, let's bring it, let's bring these guys in the same, uh, in the same distance here. And now we can um, re uh, replicate this one on the other side. And let's do the F10 again, and let's bring them in. So let's bring them up. And let's bring these guys in as well. So let's say that this will be the shape. And uh, now I'll let me check, okay. So now what we can do is we can, let's connect these two and let's do the Boolean cur curve Boolean. Okay. Let's take these two guys. Let's bring them on the side. Okay. So basically now we have this module there. Uh, let's bring this one inside. Okay. So basically this uh, model should have uh, more or less six sides, but uh, it's not actual six sides. I will show you why. First thing here we need to estimate the thickness like so. And then we can explode this rectangle there. And let's divide these two rectangles into, into two segments. And let's split them. So we're gonna split this guy and this guy with these two points. So now we have separate separate um, entities here. So um, if, if you can notice here on the column, it has actual, uh, it's going outward. So uh, because it's going outward, we will need to uh, basically modify, modify this line. These lines are straight, you can see they're straight. So we will actually copy these guys here and then we will just use these two like this and then we will split them with each other. So I'm going to split this guy with this guy and I'm going to split this one with this one. So now we have separate entities there. We're going to select, now we're going to select uh, the F10 and we're going to take this middle one and pull it out like so. And uh, let's move it back in place. So you can see what we get. We get this uh, extrusion that, uh, that these columns have there. So once we have this extrusion, let's see if it's a bit big enough. I think it's all right. Maybe it needs to be a little bit more. So I'll just uh, move it a tiny bit more. And um, I will actually extrude this guy here a little bit like so to have a certain thickness. And uh, at this point we can use these lines here and let's mirror them on the opposite side like this. And uh, we basically have similar kind of shape on the inside and on the outside. And you can see here that they have also the similar thing going here. Just you don't see it here from the from the ground. Uh, so uh, now the, the now it's just a matter of creating uh, creating this um, this piece, and uh, we can do it by using multiple strategies. Okay, so let's say I have I have this edge and I have this edge. I'm gonna duplicate. And I'm going to say sweep to first rail, second rail, my cross section curve, this one and this one. And we have the surface. Easy as that. 
Okay, so once we created the bottom one, let's create the top, the top one as well. Uh, the top one will be a little bit trickier, but uh, let's go and let's isolate. Let's isolate uh, only this area. So I'm gonna check only these parts. I'm gonna select them and I will isolate them. So uh, the way that we will create this is by using the sweep tool. But first let's connect these two, let's join them. And let's do the sweep two again. This is the first rail, this is the second rail, this is the first cross section and the second cross section. And let's mirror this on the opposite side. And once we, are, once we have this, uh, this done, uh, the next thing would be to basically just mirror this on the back as well. And uh, let's unhide this first and let's mirror it back. And basically we have the column done. So you can see that um, with a little help of the sweep tool, we can actually create the shape. Uh, and now it's just a matter of, um, of using, uh, taking the shape, transforming it to a block, and then we can uh, basically copy it here. So let's go like, do it like this. Uh, I'm not gonna actually use the block feature because I can see that we need this one as well here on the side. So let's just use uh, use it like this and let's move it here into it place. Let's mirror it and let's do the same thing on the other side. Let's copy it like this. Okay, and uh, we can mirror it one more time. And now we can fine tune it if we want like this. And for the for the last one, let's let's mirror it here, and let's remove. Uh, let's first remove the this part. Actually, let's see what happens with this guy. I'm not sure. Let's ungroup it. And let's see if we can just quickly, uh -huh. okay, so we need to cut this area here. Let's go here and let's cut it. Let's do boolean split. And now we can remove it. And we can also remove this area. And we have here this the side and of course, uh, we can fill it here with planar surface. Like this. Okay, and now let's, let's group it and let's mirror it like so. And let's copy it here on the other side. Okay, and let's bring it together and let's mirror it here. So now we have now we have the facade and then on the back I think that they're all the same. So we're just going to mirror them here like this and I'm going to copy them now. And let's mirror this guy. And we have basically the top here. So now I'm gonna extrude this till there. I'm gonna say, okay, this is the ceiling. And we know that we have in the middle here we have some flooring. Let's bring it down like this. And uh, let's, let's keep it for now like this. I will now just uh, model some interior details and 
then I'll show you the final result. So basically you can see that uh, with a little bit of uh, uh, transform this to uh, li uh, 2D lines, we can easily create uh, any kind of shape in Rhino and that's uh, basically the beauty. Here is the, the final image. Uh, it turned out quite well, I think. And uh, again, thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, sharing this material with your friends. And uh, if you have any questions for me, comments or suggestions for future videos, uh, please uh, leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget that you have some uh, special free bonuses uh, in the description of the video. And again, uh, if you want to join How to Rhino community, just click on those links that have free stuff and you'll be able to access my uh, email list, emailing list where I sh share my tips and tricks uh, for Rhino and for architecture. Until the next time, uh, see you and take care.